Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We are here in the Harad Hills doing a couple of things. There is the uh, insect loving kids request where we set up his machine and try to attract some bugs with it. This seems as good a spot as any. And on you go. Wow, what is this? A smoke screen for attracting bugs, weren't you listening? Uh, I'm not sure I approve of the smell. Whoa, what's with all the monsters? Well, those are bugs, aren't they? Can't you see? Hmm, I suppose we can conclude that the smoke is more effective in attracting monsters than bugs. Or, you know, bug-type monsters. Oh, that's just great. Stupid piece of junk. More trouble than it's worth. Guys, we can moan about this later. Kind of got more pressing matters here. I think this was more the type of insect he was hoping for. Well, now with that done... Further back in Lasaria Harbor, uh, Lasaria Woodland, as opposed to Yanchik Harbor, getting kind of tripped up there, in Lasaria Woodland, the, uh... Um... Gardener's son. That, I was, couldn't remember the word gardener for a moment there. His son, who is supposed to be out here gathering sand, I believe is going to be found it's over a nice here change instead. Of pace. Let's catch our breath and move out. Yep, here we go. Hey! Hmm? Is that came? Laura, look out! Thanks, Jin, I'm good. But we have to save that man. our much higher level he was still able to inflict that status effect. Ah, sorry about that. I was trying to warn you not to come any closer. I guess I need to get better at warnings, huh? Sorry you got attacked. Anyway, it's been a while. Didn't think I'd have to be saved by you guys again, but here we are. You recognize me, right? As Kang. Remember? You helped me with the monster slash bridge situation. I had a feeling we'd bump into each other again. Ha ha ha, what a coincidence, eh? Crud, I gotta hurry, otherwise my old man will lay into me again. Sorry I have to dash. Thanks for saving my skin. I'll see you back at the capital. Right. That's done. This is becoming a nature makes a fine ally. Alright, let's see. What's that 
purple one over there. Aren't we intrepid? Well, that was kind of pathetic. Hmm. Well, anyway. If we take a look at the quest log. We're working on home on uh, side quests because unfortunately we once again have to finish enough of them to get carry on with the main quest how are we doing with this six out of ten hmm. so let's go look for the glass maker that's going to be a quick trip over to Gormont which Honestly, shouldn't be that quick a trip, but there you are. Hop, skip, and a jump later. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Okay, so the main Aren't thing. We I want to do is get enough community built up that I can get carry on with the main quest. Wasn't there? I don't remember exactly how this goes. Mm, though now that I think about it, we have to go to the cemetery first, right? That's where we find that the glassmaker is gone. This is becoming I'm addictive. something of an expert. And then we go looking elsewhere to find his stuff to bring back to his former apprentice. I believe that's how it goes. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. Now I need to do four more fusion combos at some point. I think my best bet really is to take on Herculean Gibson once more. Oh no, this one says Taris. Yeah, it must have been made by someone who knew him. I'm so sorry everyone, but I had to make sure. One way or another, Charlotte will need some closer on this. I'm with you, Laura. I'd have done the same in your position. That's the sad thing about miracles. They rarely happen. Don't beat yourself up about it. Minos's right. It wasn't your fault, Laura. You don't have to bear that burden. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, guys. Do you think perhaps Terrace left something behind that we could take to Charlotte as a keepsake? Like what? I can't see anything of worth left around here. Charlotte says he was a cautious man, in which case it's plausible that he would have predicted the attack. And we still don't know exactly why he came back here in the first place. I admit I'm very curious. Then I suggest we start by investigating the area around his lodgings. Your Majesty, please watch your step. I'm sure His Majesty doesn't require that much mollycoddling, Aegean. Do you think he might have known Mother? If he did, we owe him thanks. It must have been hard, a hard life for her, all alone here. Yeah. If only we'd made it in time, we could have simply asked. Sleep tight, Terrace. I pray you're in a better place now. Right. So I'm pretty sure I remember where to go for the rest of this. This is becoming nature addictive. makes a fine ally. I believe his house is up ahead on the left. This is there'll be something, something of an expert. There'll be something buried there, which will lead us to another place. This is becoming a nature makes a fine ally. Kind of, sort of, off in the direction of Siegel, Fe Siegel Fell. And that is where we'll find the item we're taking to Charlotte. Uh, I don't believe this was. Hmm. 
Aha, here we go. You're coming with me, Something's treasure. buried down here. Don't have to tell me twice. Unearth activated. The suspense is killing me. Okay, there is notes and a bit of money. Just a scrap of paper, seriously? It says Knox Promontory and that's it. He could have at least signed it or something. How are we supposed to make sense of anything now? Hold on, I've seen this kind of writing before. It's been written with a glass pen. When this is dried, hidden colors will show themselves. You mean like a pen made of glass? I've never heard of such a thing. One of Torna's finest inventions. It only caught on with enthusiasts, so I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. Indeed, but this means there's a good chance that this writing belongs to Terrace himself. This Knox Promontory may be worth checking out then. Alright, Knox Promontory, like I said, is kind of sort of close to Siegel Fell. Hmm. Side quest right there. Okay, I know what that one must be. That must be where we have to go find that important Gormati fellow and help him, you know, get to the uh, summit with the Ardenians. But anyway, yeah, there we go. Knox Promontory. So... There. <clears throat> if we go here, we should be reasonably close. Whoosh. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Just go through here and keep kind of sort of bearing straight ahead. Aren't we in traffic? I know the trail. Oh, it's getting late in the evening. So if we go straight and then hang a sharp left going up the hill, that should take us to Knox Promontory. Now these monsters here should leave us alone. Level 37? Yeah, in incoming level 90 people. Nature makes a fine ally. Don't tangle with us or we'll maul you. Nature makes a fine ally. Okay. And then let's see, there's the buried chest. The suspense is killing Something's me. buried down here. Don't have to tell me twice. You're coming with me, treasure. The glassmaker's tone. Let's see, this is a technical manual on glasswork. It goes into great detail about the manufacturing process. There are all sorts of diagrams and annotations. Hold on, Terrace came all the way out here to bury this? Kind of weird, isn't it? Well, maybe he buried it. Or maybe he came here to dig it up? We don't know for certain. Didn't Charlotte tell us that he was worried about there being an Aegis attack on Torna? This is just speculation, but maybe he left it here to spare his knowledge from destruction. If you're right, then it's a terrible irony that he met his demise in Gormot. How awful. Think we should put it back then? It's probably best not to leave it in Torna. No, I think this is something Charlotte needs to see. She should be the one to decide what to do with it. Sounds reasonable. So that gives us a couple things to do back in uh, Torna. But since we happen to be here... Pleasant stroll. Ah, you remember our destination, don't you? started to rain. Anyway, since we happen to be here in Gormot, let's take care of this side quest. It shouldn't take us too long since we have all of the skip travel points already. My lords and ladies, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was wondering if you could help me with something. What with your majesty and Prince Adam out on campaign, it has been decided that I will confer with the special envoy from Gormon. Given that our Danian Titan has been showing signs of decline, it's important that we act now. I plan to air my opinion on the future of both our countries. Our conference was to be aboard this flagship, and the envoy was to come from the White Chair in Gormon. 
But he has not arrived. To get here from the White Chair, it's necessary to pass through the Hoary Wheel. A dangerous place. We assume something happened to the envoy there. However, we do not have the military resources to mount a full search of the Hoary Weald. Therefore, I thought I might burden you with this request. Please go search the Hoary Weald and search. For, please go to the Hoary Weald and search for the Gormati Special Envoy. Sorry for this sudden request, but I would not trouble you if I had any other option. Sweetest Tidy. Let's tidings. see what we have here. I don't think I need to set this as active. All right, so. Or we will camp. Maybe another skip drive will cause it to stop raining. Whoosh. Even on there familiar we ground, we must stay vigilant. Zealous warrior Elba. Hey, so the Torn and Capital was attacked. I hope the people there are safe. You thought I'd be more gung-ho about it, did you? Thought I'd want a piece of the action? No, when I heard about the that Aegis person, it chilled me to the bone. Me, of all people. I hear he's burned cities to the ground without a trace. Ugh. But you're going to protect the city and the people, aren't you? I have to say, I'm pretty jealous of your strength and bravery. Well, I won't be beaten. I'll just have to train even harder. Good luck to you. Hal Jark. You've come at just the right time. I could use some skilled adventurers like you. I'm Hal Jark, now headed for the Ardanian warship anchored at Lasham Cove. But I forgot but I left the white chair in a hurry and forgot to bring any gifts. I've sent my attendants out to get some Melosian honey, which is famed around these parts, but there's still nowhere to be seen. This is worrying. The forest is full of danger, so I couldn't go searching for them even if I wanted to. But now that you're here, do you think you could bring back my attendants who've gone to collect the Melosian honey? You'd be doing us a great service. Okay, so a new person listed there. And look at that. The uh, Robber Queen Lavinia can be added to the community. This is becoming addictive. It's another thing we'll have to do before we leave Gormont. Aren't we in trouble? I know the trail. And a nice, neat work, line everyone. of bucks. Help! Those must be the special envoy's attendants. Let's take out those skeeters and rescue them. My thoughts exactly. Your weapons, come on. Uh oh, I think we've been spotted. Oh, gas! Never Probably not as long as the first time, but still, longer than I expected. You saved our lives, thank you. Did you find the Melosian honey you saw? What? Why are you asking? The special envoy sent us. Ah, Melosian honey is pretty valuable, and this is the only place in Gormot that it can be gathered. The special envoy insisted we need some to give to the Ardanians. I'd also be interested in finding out how delicious it is, but I value people's safety over anything else. Thank you for understanding. This youth seems far more capable of leadership than Mr. Jark. We risk another Skeeter attack if we remain here. You're right. Let's go back to the Special Envoy. I 
I wonder if uh, Mr. Jark was, you know, this is put into a position makes where a fine ally. You know, there was simply no one else to take the job, so he had to be the leader. And so he's doing the best he can, but it's just not this really a job he's suited nature for. Makes a fine ally. Oh, another treasure trove. The suspense is killing me. Structure to a level this two. And steady. A level two lock on this chest. Okay, there's the other gather point. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. All right. You know, as long as I'm here, I might as well gather the honey, right? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It occurs to me that there's a treasure trove up here, isn't there? Yep, there it is. Aren't we in I know the drill. The suspense is giving me a structure to this lock. Slow and steady. Level three lock on this one. Okay. And also, while I'm here, let's go Aren't find that hidden I area. I believe it's over straight that direction. No, this is what it means to be alive. I'll be honest, I don't actually hate it. Okay. Great view. Let's see, it looks like there's a... one of those white treasure troves over there. Hmm. Can I make it? No, but uh, the fall wasn't too bad. This is becoming a distant to the sound of my voice. And this is becoming a nice tree collection point. Suspense is There's giving me a structure to this lock. Slow and steady. And a level three locked chest. All right. All right. <clears throat> Back to the Hoy Wheel Camp. And move out. Thank you for helping out my attendants. If we were to, if we were without presence, it could be a diplomatic faux pas, which could offend the Ardanians and lead to war. Hmm. Very well, we should depart soon. Now that I have my attendants with me, I should arrive at Lashram Cove much quicker. We'd better be off. Farewell. Is it just me, or are these? Blank loading screens taking longer. Hmm. Well, let's not worry about that too much. Lakeshore campsite. That's where we'll find Robber Queen Lavinia. A nice we can change of pace. Get her added right let's on into the and move community. So you're the ones who took Kylie and Kelly to their father in Torna. I know them. They're good kids. We led the refugee life together for only a short while, but I came to care about them. 
It's a great relief to hear that they were reunited with family, truly. Maybe it isn't in my position to say, but thank you. I'm glad they won't have to live like this any longer. Also, all this got me thinking. What if... What if I could become a bit more like all of you? I'd like to get my life back on track, live for something, give something of myself and not just take. Well, I'd like to try anyway. You've inspired me, you could say. So yeah, from now on, you're the targets I'm shooting for. In a nice way, though. Let's hope it all works out. Fair enough. Thank you. I hope Kelly and Callie are happy now that they're back with their father. Okay. There's that taken care of. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. I've already been down. Yes, I have. That treasure trove's open. Yeah. I was gonna swim th through the cloud sea to get back to the ship, but eh, might as well just go the fast way. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. All right. Your Highness, everyone, you have my thanks. The Gormati Special Envoy arrived safely. Now the conference can begin. I'm glad to hear it. There are sea and troops in the Aegis, not to mention the state of affairs in Moradain and Gormat. All rest seems to be heading for a period of unrest. We'd like to hear your opinion on working together to overcome the hardships facing our two countries. It will be done, Your Majesty. And later, you can give us your impressions on the Melosian honey that was so difficult to obtain. Honey? What's this all about? Uh... I mean, maybe he's not the most well capable leader, us. but you can't really blame this on him. He didn't know what uh, Emperor Hugo looked like. Also, is there any chance of getting more of that honey? We have a bunch. Much appreciated. Truly, I'm humbled by your kindness. I shall strive henceforth to maintain positive relations between Gormont and Moradain, I swear it. Okay, is there anyone? No, there's, uh... Yeah, no one else has a yellow-orange icon on them, so... Looks like we're at the end of the road there. We're just gonna have to work on all these side quests. Okay, so we've got the insect boy and the glass maker and the cleaning up the capital quest over in Oresco and then we have uh, the driver testing quest with that Nopon driver and the uh, justice quest with that you know, Nopon agent looking for the person behind the green drug barrels. We can't do that final one yet, but the others are easily doable. Always happy to put a smile on people's faces. All right. So let's take a quick jaunt to Aletta. While we're here, something else might pop up. Suddenly, it all looks so different. Let's catch our breath and move out. Okay, what accessories do I have equipped? I ought to have a beta scope on Laura here. And I do, excellent. Beta scope and luck booster. Okay, we're all set. Okay, let's bring out Herculean Gibson. There he is. Huh. 
This is becoming addictive. Okay, he'll take a quick rest over there. And then when he comes back over here, I'll mess him up. I just need four more. with the group. I just need four more fusion combos. Yeah, we got this. You go stop that there. Oh god, this is less than tenable. Don't think about it. I'm ready. 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 I'm Okay, that should be at least three fusion combos right there. Are you getting? Okay, let's get into a chain attack like right now. It's not over, not by a long shot. Take it away, I am as relentless as Bridget. Bridget. Their defense is in charge. Jin, I'm trusting you. Zero blade. Any last word? Um. Adam, sure. Assault blade. Elemental burst. Don't expect to recover from this. Hugo. Emperor Hugo. Imperial sword. Elemental burst. Wash, rinse, repeat. Hayes. Hayes, deal with it. For the healing. Magnificent. Let's get another one in. Um. Hmm. Minoff. Minoff. Crucial yours. Magnificent. Don't forget me. Uh, Gian. Be my guest, the Gian. Blade. Hundred year way. Elemental burst. Follow that up. Magnificent. Yeah. My lady, go ahead. Spiral snap. Magnificent. How about another round of carnage? Uh, Adam. Take it away, Prince. Soul burst. Magnificent. Get the aggro. May I follow? Majesty. Come on. For the glory. I know what uh, he's still aggro on you, Laura. Let's keep this up. Any difference at all who I bring out? Uh, hmm. Oh, Jim. Be my guest. Smash. Smash. Elemental burst. Wash, rinse, repeat. Magnificent. Mora, I close. Realize it. Elemental burst. No mercy. 
Your turn, Adam. Magnificent. I am as relentless as the time. Majesty. Imperial glory of Mordor. I figured that would get him. This is far from over. Magnificent. Swap with me, hey. Sell it on whirlwind. Magnificent. Okay, that should. That should be all the fusion combos I need. Don't forget me. Lead the rear guard to me, Bridget. Bell Magnificent. Enemy down. We are doing Such great. Enemies are but a trip with me here. I saw the notice for fusion coaching. So now I just go back and talk to uh, Roly Poly, I believe is his name. And that gets that one done. Jack Merc Roly Poly. Uh, how? How is this possible? Friends are are unreal. Meh, you want to hear about what ultra tough mission entail? Uh, well, thing is, Roly Poly and Krogani take so much time with testing of candidates actually get kicked off mission. <laughs> Roly Poly is such silly billy pawn. Should have been more attention paying. Hmm. Hey. These things happen in field of work of mercenaries. Cannot help. Please not to look at with death stares. But is now all but is not all for nothing, me realize that now. Had opportunity to meet incredible driver and blade friends. Yes, it's all worth coming to far flung land of Torna to meet new friends. Also, while on subject, and if friends forgive Roly Poly a little digression, lack of mission mean a lot more time for sightseeing of sights of Torna. Plenty of walkie walks. Hope to see friends again on travel, so please not to forget names and faces of Roly Poly and Corgani. So far, so good. Sorry much about Big Job Hullabaloo, but at least now that friends undergo coaching from Master Warrior Roly Poly should have confidence to beat anyone. You have our gratitude. I can't apologize enough for my driver. Still, watching your flawless style and flair has inspired me. I'll work hard so we can show you guys up someday. Ahaha! Well, look at all those new side quests that opened up. Wow. Okay, well. I'm glad we could be of help. Fusion combo up two and three. All right, back to Ales Aresco, not Alesco. Let's see here. Okay, if we go to where's the? There we go, Viridian Gate. This is a pretty long conversation Even familiar with Grandma Serves. We must stay vigilant. Where are they? Ah, there they are. I'm just gonna button mash through this conversation. Da 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 da. And the garden changes not one iota. Okay. Thank you everyone, at last I can bring his majesty some good news. Now that is a, this, that is a positive outcome. Now if there's anything else we can... Surely you just Lord Hugo, my heart could not withstand any more secondhand embarrassment. Ha 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 ha. May the architect grant you a long life and good fortune, Mr. Niddle. Hmm, yes, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> he doesn't sound very confident about it, does he? 
I am honored. You have my thanks. Okay. And now we can always happy to put a smile on people's faces. Head out through Viridian Gate. And talk to the apprentice glassmaker to get that one out of the way. And then head on over to Marcus to talk to him to get that one out of the way. dead and Torgoth is destroyed. Much appreciated. All right. It has been a learning experience. Movement heal two, specials level one plus two. Kind of chintzy rewards. And now Marcus. Hey, you're back, so how'd it go? That's roughly what happened. I'm sorry we couldn't have been more help, lad. Nah, it's fine. It's not your fault anyways. This just proved my invention needs more work. This was just a prototype. But I guess it'll be a bit longer before I can make that medicine for her. Medicine? What now? Wait! Ever so sorry, but would you mind if I borrowed a moment of your time? Um, sure. Couldn't help but overhear the word invention, you see. Might we attribute this invention to your esteemed persons? Oh no, not us. That honor goes to this boy here. What's that? This stripling built it? Who's this geezer? An excellent question, my dear boy. It is I, the greatest inventor the Torn has ever known, a man known only as Gideon. Um, I wasn't asking you. Now that's entirely beside the point. Gideon has noticed your talent, young man. Of that you should be thankful. He's not even listening. What's your name, boy? Marcus, what about it? Marvelous. Well, then, from this day forth, Marcus, I'd like to take you under my wing. How about that, eh? What, you want to teach me stuff? Nah, thanks. I'm not interested. Good heavens, are you quite sure? Why, I can think of dozens of children who would jump at such a chance. Go ask those other children, then. I don't want to. Wait, let me step in for a minute there. Pardon? Marcus, look at it this way. Ultimately, you want to perfect your machine, yes? Does it matter how you go about doing that? Isn't what matters that you succeed? Ah... I think it would be best for you to learn the skills you need from this man and then bring your goal to fruition. That is, if you feel you can tolerate his eccentric ramblings. But I think this is well within the realm of your ability, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I get it already. So? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll give it a go. If this weirdo knows how to build stuff, he can teach me for all he's worth. I'm not going to let one stupid little failure get me down, nuh -uh. That's a good lad. If only everyone had your spirit. You sure about this? That was pretty reckless getting him fired up like that. It'll be fine. He learned a valuable lesson today, that failure paves the way to success. If you've written up from the jaws of defeat once, you can survive in almost any environment after that. And that's not all. Oh? He, al he also reminded me of something I'd almost forgotten. That anyone, if they believe in themselves enough, has the power to overcome any hardship. When you're an adult, it's easy to lose sight of that simple fact. Is that a lesson you had to learn? Maybe, maybe not. Meanie. Anyway, I think we're done here. Time we made a move. See you, Marcus. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Yeah, bye bye Thanks for everything. Well done, us. Okay. So that's all the available side quests I had. 
that can be finished. There's one left, but I have to beat Malice again before I fin can finish it, and I'm not sure that's even worth the time. Sure, I'm going to beat Malice again, but why come back in after that? Hmm. Okay, so there are five more side quests available here in the city, and one more over in Aletta. Let's see. Good enough for you? Alright. Spirited Fishmonger Chica. We'll be lording around somewhere, no doubt about it. Ah, sorry, are you a customer? I'm afraid you'll have to wait for a bit for the shop to reopen. My husband's gone AWOL. Well, he went out to get fish. Then the Aegis attacked and all the fish around here went belly up, you remember? Well, around that time, he said, I'll catch the fish myself, and went off somewhere, and went off by himself somewhere. And he's not been back since. The fish are back at the aquaculture shop now, so there's no reason not to reopen the shop except no husband. And there are lots of monsters outside, so I can't exactly abandon the shop and go wandering. I'm ashamed to burden a customer with something like this, but I need someone to find my husband and tell him to get back here to the capital. Can you help me? My husband said he wanted to go up to Cooley Lake to land a big cap someday, so he might start up there. Hope you can find him for me, thanks. Back to Gormont. <sighs> we cannot turn them away. Uh, no. Tico? What should I do? Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to mumble in front of customers. I was miles away. I've got this friend you see, and lately he's been, I don't know, distant, absent minded, just a bit weird, I guess. He stopped eating his favorite fish dishes, so I know something's up, but he won't talk to me about it. But maybe, maybe you could get through to him? Would you do that for me? His name is Joey, and you can find him tending to the armor. Sorry to bother you with a little thing like that. Hopefully it's nothing at all. Anyhow, thank you so much. I'd like you to trust us with this. Okay. Let's get these on the list. And then let's talk to the gate guard. Chalcedony. Good traveler, I was going to ask you something. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the lantern at the side of the gate has gone out. Doesn't that bother you? Not really. What do you mean, not really? You're just like my brother, then. He said it was just fine as it is. Still, hear me out. See, I'm supposed to monitor the area, so I can't afford to leave my station, not even for a second. As for the guy next to me, well, he's my brother, but for reasons I'd prefer not to go into, I'd rather not ask him. You can talk to him if you want. You'll soon understand. In any case, I gotta do my duty and keep watch over this place. I'm stuck at my post. Lantern's out of reach. You've probably guessed where this is going. Think you could light up my life a little? I'd like you to trust us with this. Okay. mentions it. We haven't spoken to the gate guards at all, have we? The Knight of Torna, eh? That's a really big deal. Congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry. I bet there's some new fancy way I'm supposed to address you now. Don't know if I can get used to it. You're really going up in the world, aren't you? Such a big change. I can hardly believe it's the same you. I see loads of knights up at the palace. Real dignified old gents they are. Things must be really hotting up if they need people so young to join up. Hey, I also heard that Adam's going to be taking on some really huge stuff soon. So, even so, don't be a stranger. I want you to know that I believe in you. Okay, got him on the list. Okay, there's the lantern. And now, back to your regularly scheduled daytime. Shall we keep moving? Is there a treasure trove over here? Ooh. No, there isn't. Aren't we interested? Listen to the sound of my voice. Aren't 
Aren't we intrepid? All right. Anyway, the lamp slipped back up, so Chow said me. I saw the whole thing. Awesome work. You've really brightened up my day. That takes care of that matter, then. Which brings me to the next one. See, there's actually a bunch of lanterns that have broken down around the capital. I happened to notice them while I was on patrol, and it really bugged me. As usual, my brother turned a blind eye to the problem. So, being the model citizen that I am, I thought I'd take the initiative and fix them myself. Except I haven't been able to yet, not since I've been lumbered with guard duty. I reckon there are about four in total. One in Four My Chopping Ward, one in Fabry Industry Ward, one in Oresco Residential Ward, and the last one was in Orm Storage Ward. If you could nip around and fix those four, it'd be a huge help, for me and for the people. Okay. Let's get this over with. To uh, Joey, while we're passing by, Scruffy Armor Burger. That's a Star Wars reference, specifically from uh, The Empire Strikes Back, when uh, Leia calls Han Solo a Scruffy Nerf Herder. Huh? Yeah, I'm Joey. What's it to you? What? Tico sent you? Gah, so nosy. I already told her everything. I already... T I told her already. Everything's okay. Oh, fine. You really want to know? Three of my Armus have run away. It's my own dumb fault. I thought I'd see if Armus have a homing instinct. Spoiler warning, they don't. Not a single one of them got back. What a waste of time. S um, so if you see any Armus running around out there, could you please maybe bring them back here, please? I think you sh could probably find them easy enough by following their tracks. They're... The names of the three lost armies are Yama, Aji, and Washish. They should come when you call them. And don't try to, like, fight them or tip them over, okay? Cheers and all. Okay. Pick that up. That up. And like that. Up. Now that I have a few skip travel points around the city. Let's go back here. Get this treasure trove. The suspense is killing me. And then, skip travel back to the main gate. It's a nice change of pace. And of course, it's raining. Catch our hey there, did you miss us? We you fixed your faulty lanterns. Remind me why we're the ones running around doing odd jobs for this guy. Let's try to put things into perspective, Mithra. It's good for the people. Great, thanks a bunch. That's a load off my mind. It would have been a while before I could get around to fixing those. Yo, Chelsea. Bro, what's up? If the lanterns were bothering you so much, why didn't you just ask me? I could have fixed them for you. Nah, I didn't want to have to rely on you this time. I've been relying on you most of my life, ever since Mom went. Wahaha! Chelsea, Sydney, have you got a minute? Sarge. Sorry to barge in, but I got urgent news to tell you. Chalcedney, you're promoted. Come join the squad. Wait, I'm... Huh? But what did I do? You went and fixed those lanterns. None of the men in my regiment even took notice of them. Proof enough to show your dedication to bettering the lives of our citizens, something our squad's severely lacking. Uh, that may be so, but it wasn't actually me who repaired them. It was these kind travelers. That so? Well then, travelers, how'd you like to take a place in our ranks? Thanks, but no. Ha ha ha. Very blunt. We may have repaired the lanterns, but Chalcedney here was the one who asked us to fix them. In all honesty, it's him you should be thanking. I couldn't agree more. The lad's more than talented enough to join my team. Are... Are you absolutely sure about this? What, you prefer to stay on guard duty? 
didn't you once say it was dull as a sack of Grom rice? Come on, Chelsea, this is your big chance. You can't turn down an offer like this. Bro, you're doing it again. Sarge, I'm in. Just as long as you can give me a job I can really sink my teeth into. Wahaha! Oh, there's no shortage of those, believe me. That's more like it. Do us proud, bro. You can count on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, all of you. Everything's been happening so fast, I never expected any of this. And I just about owe it all of it to you. Thank you so much. Are you going to be alright without your brother? Totally. I've been trying to work my way up the ladder for a while now. I don't need him hand-holding me. Oh, I see. Well, if that's what you've decided, it is. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. How reliable. Okay. Now, let's see. I need to find those three Armus and that fisherman. And the fisherman it has is been our learning experience. back in Gormont, where I just came from. Uh, let's see. Dinar region. Outriders Forest Trail. Even oh, on good. familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Stop raining. Um, shouldn't the Armu's footprints be appearing? Oh, look at that. Make preparations for fighting Malice and put the people's minds at ease until community reaches level 4. Current objective down there. Well, at least now I know how far I have to go. Wait a second, let's all the way back here. On the bridge, really? Slow and steady. Laser focus. These tracks. Our moves for sure. Looks like they went this way. Hmm. I thought they would start all the way out here. Guess not. It's all right. You're safe now. And across the water. away then. Should have saved this one for last. Cannot run! Give up! Give up! If 
Victor can take cattle, mother be pleased. Everyone please, rejoice, rejoice. I feel bad crashing your party, boys, but we'll be having that Armu back. You what? I'm sorry, but there's a little boy who's eagerly awaiting her return. You lie! Liar, liar, great big liar, we find first! You give proof! Give, give! Very well, let's see. Did either of you happen to remember what her name was? Uh, Nebish? Sheepish? No, hang on. Easy there, Prince, you're embarrassing yourself. The three we were looking for were Yoma, Aji, and then Washish. <laughs> Yes, there's our washish, no doubt about it. The kid's good at training them, I'll give him that. Nonsense! This make no sense! Name sounds like delicious! Me hungry! Getting more hungry! We take Armu! No contest! Oh bother. I had really hoped to resolve this peacefully. We tried, your majesty. We tried. Fine, if this is how you want it, everyone, protect the Armu! is over. <laughs> so yes, we should stop here. Ah, uh, that must have been scary, hmm? You're alright. We'll get you home. Okay. And then... Back to the Outriders Forest Trail. And one more set of tracks. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Okay. There's the third one. Here to take you home. Am I coming along? Ha ha ha, what an enthusiastic reply. You think? I didn't notice much reaction at all, let alone enthusiastic reaction. Okay. Back to the main gate. What a pleasant stroll. You remember our destination, don't you? Hey, it's you guys. Thank you so, so much. The Armus are back safely, and it's all thanks to you. Uh. Oh, come on. Stop crying. I'm, I'm not crying. You're crying. You, you, you dolt. You're so nosy, you know that? Stop sticking your nose in my business. What? I was just worried about you. Can't I even worry about you? No, you can do whatever you want. I, I don't even know what to say. Whatever. We're not talking about it. What's important is that our Amus came back home, so thanks. We can celebrate with a fish feast, right? Yeah, but who said there's going to be enough for you? Oh, you... Who'd even want to come to your stupid party? You're dumb and I don't even like you, so there. But what did I say? Seems our work here isn't quite over yet. Yes, Adam, it does. <laughs> let, him, let them work it out. What do you think, Hugo? Hmm? Oh, right. Uh, frankly, I don't think it's our business. So long as they can keep living their simple lives, laughing and fighting as the occasion merits. Oh, well, I suppose that does come down to us after all, doesn't it? Perhaps so, Majesty, but still. I understand how you feel. However, it may not be best to dwell on that. It can only burden you. He's right, you know. You might want to try living without thinking like our pal Adam here. Ha ha ha. May not you wound me. But Hugo, we're all on the same side. We've got each other's backs now. No harm in relaxing a bit, is there? You never change, do you, Adam? Neither do you, old friend. Well, at least you got that out of your head. 
Nobody can keep the weight of all of all rest on their shoulders. Do us a favor and remember that at least. You didn't have to, but thanks. Okay, so now we've got Tico, the Speffin in mascot. And the Gruffy Armu Herder Joey. And we still have the quest to go find the fisherman. But we've reached the end of this episode, so it'll wait until next time. Great. Another problem solved. All right. Ooh, Jean got up to S7. So, how are we doing for the community? I didn't take a good look at that. We're at level 3. We need to get to level 4. We need 9 more people. Eh, this is going to take a while. Fah. Probably at least one more episode. Well, let's see. We've got... Um, one, two, three, four, five more quests that we have not accepted yet. And one that we are currently working on. But, yeah, we'll be carrying on with that in the next episode. For the time being, thanks for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We need to get up to level 4, and we're going to need to get several more side quests done to do that. So, at least one more episode of this before we'll be able to move on with the main quest. So, you know, hopefully we're getting near the end of that. In the meantime, thanks for watching once again, and see you next time.